What's up everyone? I'm Tim. This is my channel 40 Times Around where we talk about everything related to motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. And today we're going to talk about my motorcycle camping hacks. Now there are a ton of gimmicky camping hacks and, and things online that they're fun to try out but they're not super useful and that is exactly what I'm trying not to do on this video. I want to show you the things that I've hacked to do double duty for me while I'm motorcycle camping. Things that you can actually use and put into practice. Things that will help you on your next motorcycle camping trip. Now I do have some bonus tips at the end of this video. Make sure you stick around for those. And real quick before we jump into this video, I want to thank Survivewear for sponsoring this video. Now if you're not familiar with this company, I have done a video about their first aid kit which I'll link to right here. So I'm actually testing out their larger first aid kit, which I think is perfect if you're traveling in a group. It's got a lot of extra things in it that the smaller kit doesn't have. Now, if you're just traveling alone, the smaller kit I think is absolutely perfect. Uh, but one thing I do like about the large kit is that it has a splint, which definitely is something you're gonna want if you're on a motorcycle. Anyways, we're gonna jump into the video right after this. Motorcycle camping hack number one is for those of you that do happen to eat dehydrated camping meals. If you've ever tried to reseal one of those, sometimes they can be a bit of a pain. A neat little trick is that you can use your fork to pinch the bag close like this. Hack number two is to leave a carabiner strapped to the roof of your tent. This way when you get in at night and it's dark, you can take your headlamp off, hang it up on the roof of your tent, and you have light. Hack number three, when you're camping someplace cold, stick your clothes for the next day in the foot of the sleeping bag. This way when you get up, it's not freezing cold. You're not putting on a cold jacket or cold socks. Everything's nice and warm and heated by your body heat. Hack number four is kind of an add-on to hack number three, and that is if it's really cold where you're camping, you can heat up some water, stick it in your Nalgene or water bottle or even a Camelback, uh, throw that in the sleeping bag with you and it'll help keep you warm. Hack number five. If you are into motorcycle camping, you will know that zippers are a big part of that. Either the zipper on your motorcycle jacket, the zipper on your riding pants, uh, the zippers on your tent, or your sleeping bag. Just to name a few. If they do happen to get sticky, you can use wax and just kind of rub it on the zipper uh, to smooth things out. Bonus points for using a citronella candle, which will also help keep some bugs away. This brings me to one of the bonus tips, which is bring a citronella candle with you. Uh, a small one, it's easy to pack, they're light. It's better than spraying yourself with DEET and bug spray. Uh, it's not gross. Sometimes they even smell pretty nice. They have these scented ones from Coleman. Uh, and it's nice too because having a campfire isn't always an option. And you'd be surprised uh, how much just having a candle going will add to your camping experience. So not a bad idea to bring a citronella candle with you, especially if you're somewhere buggy. The next hack is for those of you that travel with a Sawyer Squeeze. Now you can take that bag and the filter and actually hang it upside down, tie it to a tree, hang it off your motorcycle, uh, and use it as a faucet essentially for brushing your teeth, washing your face. I don't know if you could really take a full shower under it, but it is a nice way to make brushing your teeth a little bit easier. This next hack is about things that you can use to start a campfire. These are things that you should have with you. Now, about a year ago, I did a video uh, talking about some, I think I did three surprising things you could start a fire with. One of them being hand sanitizer, which you should always have with you. Believe it or not, you can also use Fritos, Doritos, or any kind of tortilla uh, greasy chips. You can also use cotton balls, petroleum jelly, and Q-tips, all of which you should have in your first aid kit. So I mentioned a few weeks ago when I hit 25,000 subscribers that I was going to be doing a contest and Survivor is actually helping me out. They gave me this great kit of some wet wipes, a first aid kit, a really nice package to give to one of you guys. And so this is what I need you guys to do if you want to enter to win. 
Survivor is on Facebook. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so you can find it real easy. All I need you to do is go like and follow Survivor and also find this post on the Facebook page 40 times around. Like it and share it. And I'll put your name in the drawing. I'll be picking a random winner in two weeks on this date. Okay, this next one is less of a hack. It's more of a tip, but I highly recommend that you use a cargo net over all of your gear. It makes a great catch-all. You can throw an extra bottle of water in there, uh, maybe an extra layer of clothing. Maybe it's cold in the morning when you leave and you need a sweatshirt and a couple hours into the ride, you don't need it anymore. Well, where are you gonna put it? That cargo net comes in handy for that kind of stuff. Even your trash when you're leaving camp in the morning. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons to have it. Plus it helps secure your luggage. I just wouldn't recommend only using a cargo net. I would strap everything down, all the heavy stuff, and then just throw a cargo net over it. Extra bonus tip is there are ones that make adjustable hooks. You can move them around depending on where you need them. I definitely recommend that because one size does not fit all. And even over the last two weeks on the road, I've noticed that the shape and size of my luggage changes every day. So I'm constantly moving the hooks and, and making it fit the situation of the day. Now, they will sometimes break if they're made of plastic. So a hack you can use for that is an extra carabiner. Just throw a carabiner on the bike somewhere, hook the net to it, and you're good to go. If you happen to use wet wipes, like the ones from Survivewear, which you should, uh, you can use them to get the bugs off of your visor of your helmet and just give your helmet a general overall cleaning. All you gotta do is lay one of them over the face shield, let it sit for a few minutes, and then all the bugs kind of soften up and you can just wipe them right away. Uh, it works great and it's a trick that I use pretty often. Hacks 9 and 10 both have to do with tying a piece of paracord to your tent. Now sometimes, especially in the desert or on any kind of hard ground, it can be pretty tricky to get a stake in the ground to hold down your rain fly. Hack number 9 is to take that piece of paracord and tie it to the kickstand of your motorcycle to use as an anchor. Make sure if it's really windy that your bike isn't going to blow over onto your tent. And hack number 10 is to tie that piece of paracord to a big rock, boulder, log, or anything heavy that you can use as an anchor. It won't take much, even in heavy wind, to keep things fairly secure. Okay, let's talk about some bonus tips involving safety pins. You should have these in your first aid kit anyway because they're good for removing splinters, lancing wounds, and a bunch of other things. But some things you might not have realized you could use them for. One, you can use them to fix a zipper pull. Two, you can use them to make a fishing hook. Now this is a little gimmicky and it's probably more for fun. If you were in a survival situation, this might come in handy though. Something else you should have with you is earplugs. If you do, you can use that as a bobber for your fishing line. Number three, you can use them to lock zippered pockets when you're riding on a motorcycle. This way you don't have them unzip on you and spill out all over the highway. Well, that about wraps it up for my motorcycle camping hacks. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. That way you don't miss anything whenever I post something new about motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. And thanks again to Survivor for sponsoring this video and my trip that I'm on. Um, keep an eye out for vlogs. They're going to be a lot more coming out. Um, kind of ride along things as I go to all of the national parks in the United States this year on my motorcycle. Anyways, contest details, links, and all of that will be in the description box down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.